I am proud to confirm that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head aren't going anywhere and will remain Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Fuck you, Hasbro. What? 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 Wait, wait, wait. Why is he mad? What? I am. Wait, God damn it! Why are you angry? Th is this not what you wanted? You can still buy the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head dolls. That's what I was waiting to see if he was going to get to. Because I was like, I'm curious if they're going to try and paint this as they're just like eliminating the dolls altogether. And it's just going to be like a potato and shit in a box, like an actual potato. Like, no. And even if they had done that, even if they had gotten rid of the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head dolls. Can I tell you guys a secret? Potatoes are fucking asexual. <laughs>so obviously um like do i even have to like set this shit up fucking hasbro came out or at least okay the ap came out with an article saying that hasbro was changing the mr potato head doll the mr and mrs potato head doll to just potato head and they would be genderless and that it would be coming out on shelves coming soon to your local wherever you can buy toys at because toys r us isn't the thing all right Geeks and Gamers talked about it. I thought this would be funny to watch because he's a dumb fuck, so let's do it. Angry if you don't okay. Here we take go. this video to every single person that has cried and whined and spent days and weeks and months just complaining about Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers and the grifters and the people that are... I mean, you guys are grifters. I like his setup. I'm jealous. His setup is way more epic than mine. It's like, look at all these consoles he's got back here. Hey, what up, Bob? What's good? Oh, look at all these consoles. Holy shit. Like, I'm jealous. I got like a Nintendo Switch box right there. <laughs> Pushing hate and negativity. I dedicate this to all of you because you're all losers. You are not Cobra Kai material. You're not geeks and gamers material. Um, you are NPCs. Mm, using all the right wing rhetoric. Um, I'm sorry. Did I miss something? Is I know the show Cobra Kai is supposed to be good. I haven't watched it. But are we supposed to want to be the bad guys? Is that the idea? Like, is being a part of Cobra Kai supposed to be cool now? I mean, I guess in their mind to them, obviously. But is that what's happening? Like, is being a stormtrooper in the Empire in Star Wars, is that the, the look? Is that what we're doing? I don't want to be Cobra Kai. But that, that's the point. They're the, they're the baddies. <laughs> like, okay. You are controlled by the mainstream media mm. and big tech and the Hollywood overlords. You don't think for yourself. You don't have a working brain. This man, wait, 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 repeat that last part. You are NPCs. You are controlled by the mainstream media and big tech and the Hollywood overlords. You don't. I, I need to hear him say it one more time. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all know I'm, I'm slow. I, I need I need to really absorb this. You're not geeks and gamers material. Um, you are NPCs. You are controlled by the mainstream media and big tech and the Hollywood overlords. You don't. Okay. He said that we are NPCs. We are being controlled by big tech and corporate media and the Hollywood overlords. Okay. I already commented on this man's setup. Who the fuck out of who he thinks he's talking to, to who we are looking at, would you say is under the mind control of the corporate elite in, in, in Hollywood, in the video game industry? Like, holy shit. Like, how is he not, like, how can you be this, like, unself aware? Like, seriously. He got too big, like, everything in here is just dripping in fucking corporate consumerism. What, what is he talking? Is he supposed to be woke? Oh no, baby, what is you doing?
think for yourself. You don't have a working brain oh. because anyone that has been paying attention to what's going on has seen that this is what the plan was all along to destroy everything, to destroy everything. You see little. I thought that was just changing the gender. How was that destroying the, the, the toy? You can still buy potato head dolls. And we're going to get into the nuance of that in a second, because I want to see what his argument's going to be, because it's much more what's actually happening is much more nuanced than probably what he's going to convey here. Little elements here and there. But finally, when you get red pilled, you really wake up. <laughs> And I got oh, red pilled no. after The Last Jedi. Oh, no. I didn't see a lot of this. Now, again, I noticed little elements here and there. I noticed the identity politics. I noticed the decisions, the questionable things, but I wasn't. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I swear I'm going to let this video finish. I just have to, I, it, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to go look at this channel real quick. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to go back and look. He said he didn't switch shift gears until The Last Jedi came out? Nobody hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. Oh, that's funny. He was hyped about this. Abuse and outrage culture. Yeah, no. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay. Well, it started at around this time. I'll give him that where it was at least blatant around that time. I, I'm not going to actually get, watch these fucking videos to see what these videos are actually about, but he started making it really obvious in his thumbnails and shit around that time. Okay. I was just curious. You can continue. Ready to just fully call it out. Exactly, Cat. Nobody. <laughs> Until The Last Jedi happened. And then Disney blamed the fans for calling out their bullshit. And that was my moment. That's where I finally realized what was going on. Now, here we are today. Here we are today, ladies and gentlemen. And just when you think things can't get crazier, here we are. Mr. Potato Head is no longer a Mr. Hasbro, the company that makes the potato-shaped plastic toy, is giving the Spud a gender-neutral name, Potato Head. The change will appear on boxes this year. This really happened. This really happened. This decision, this announcement really happened. I wonder if he actually read this article. I mean, he may go into it. I'm just curious if he actually read this. We'll see. This is not the onion. This is not the Babylon B. This was exactly. I said at the beginning, it is the only time I think about Mr. Potato Head is when a new Toy Story movie is coming out. I literally don't give a shit. I'm like, all these grown ass men. Listen, I am not above geeking out for shit clearly i am not above this shit but grown-ass men bitching about fucking not just toys like toys for like babies like if you're over the age of like five you ain't even touching a potato head doll period like the the passion over this is, is just fascinating to me. It's a real announcement. This has always been the plan by them. They will never stop. If you don't call them out, if you don't get angry, if you don't continue to stay the course. If you're not in a constant state of terror, you're not going to be as susceptible to the bullshit that I'm going to be shoveling into your mouth. Also, I need you to have diamond hands. Hold the line, boys. Stay mad, always. This is the fight of our lives. This is his Captain America in-game speech when, before they go back in time and shit. Then this is what's going to happen if exactly, you don't right? fight against it. So for all the people, you make too many hate videos, Jeremy. 
you make too many mean videos, Jeremy. No, you're just a fucking pussy and you can't think for yourself. Guys, we're pussies because we ain't mad about this shit. Sorry. If you have ever said I make too many hate videos, you're a pussy and you can't think for yourself. Because I have been calling out the bullshit that needs to be called out. And I will continue to do that. And I'm not going to stop. Because I see what they're doing. Now, after this announcement, after a massive tidal wave of backlash, they are now, they are now doing damage control. Uh, your main spud, Mr. Potato Head, isn't going anywhere. While well, it was announced today that the Potato Head brand name and logo are dropping the Mr., I am proud to confirm that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head aren't going anywhere and will remain Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Fuck you, Hasbro. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Why is he mad? What? I am. Wait, God damn it! Why are you angry? Is this not what you wanted? You can still buy the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head dolls. That's what I was waiting to see if he was going to get to. Because I was like, I'm curious if they're going to try and paint this as they're just like eliminating the dolls all together. And it's just going to be like a potato and shit in a box, like an actual potato. Like, no. And even if they had done that, even if they had gotten rid of the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head dolls. Can I tell you guys a secret? Potatoes are fucking asexual. Like, they can just reproduce from themselves. There is no male-female potato. It's just the potato. We assumed the potato's gender. That was an injustice that we have done that we are now correcting. I'm not seeing what the problem is here. Exactly. And, and that's the thing. What the nuance to this is, is that they're dropping Mr. Potato Head from their brand. So the boxes will be essentially this. It'll just say Potato Head. And you can get a Mr. Potato Head. You can get a Mrs. Potato Head. You can get children Potato Head, an aunt Potato Head, an uncle Potato, cousin Potato Head. I'm like, if you want to make a trans Potato Head, or you got the parts. You can fucking do it if you want to. Shit. Like, I'm not seeing what, what the problem is. Like, why, why? This is just making it more inclusive so it's not branded as like a male, you know, centric toy. They're just trying to be neutral. So then that way, boys and girls or children who might identify as non-binary or whatever the fuck else won't feel like they are being kept out of that box. Like, hey, we represent whatever you want it to represent. It's it's a fucking potato. Like, I can't even, like, make, like, good comments. This is so stupid. Oh, my God. Okay. Bro. Fuck you. Where's the official BDS and potato head support? And fuck <laughs> exactly. your entire executive board and every single person involved with this decision. Fuck you. You are pieces of garbage and not. What? What? I'm still confused. Why is he mad? Okay, I'll let One him talk. One single person with a working brain believes you. This uh, is damage control. And they will continue. They will continue. Is this not photos of the boxes from a foreign country that they're showing to show like hey this is what it'll look like what how is this damage control did you read the ap article no he didn't read it he didn't he read did it he definitely didn't nonsense. read it they basically overstepped today the public reaction was too much the public response was too much and they have dialed it back but trust me they plan to continue to do this to destroy everything like think about it think about watching toy story by 2021 standards in the social justice world, Toy Story is problematic. Toy Story is problematic to these people. These people are in- Who, who, who said that, bro? Who, where is this outrage? At least the other grifters, at least when they do this bullshit, they'll at least throw like some tweet that got like one like from some random ass fucking person on the screen and see like, look, see? I told you, at least they do that. Like, give me something. Insane. They are truly demented and twisted. They have a mental 
condition. They have problems. And a lot of these people that are controlling everything from the corporate level are just looking to push agendas. And they're looking to take advantage of weak-minded people. Does he think that he's not pushing an agenda? Does he think that he's giving unbiased news coverage right now? Does he think that he's he's like a, a, a neutral player in all this? Okay. Just checking. And that's how we have ended up in this position right now. Um, these people are insane, and they will not stop. What are we going to do? They will not stop at anything. No, they won't. The insanity what are we is gonna off do? the charts. The insanity oh, is off the it's charts. It's crazy. I just saw a tweet. And it's I crazy. You can still buy the toy. They just changed the name of the brand. Crazy insanity. I've I've kind of been you know responding a little bit like that. That's that's what I responded for, with. Bro, oh my god, this is parody. I don't even have to make fun of him. He's doing it himself. The potato head name change is Joker fighting you, bro. Do you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you know the amount of privilege you have to have where you are this outraged about this topic? Do you know how good your life has to be for you to give a half a squirt of piss about any of this shit? Do you have any idea how little actual material problems you have to deal with in your life? If this is what you're angry about? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. This is why I didn't want to talk about This is so stupid. Uh, with Hasbro. Because they are. They're clowns. We got this person here. Stop calling your female colleagues smart or clever or brilliant. It's sexist. Uh, so I responded. Uh, we really appreciate all of the smart, clever, and brilliant ladies at Geeks and Gamers. Because you're never, ever, 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 ever going to win with social justice. It is an endless rabbit hole of victimization. The moment that you bend the knee, even the slightest, it's I, over. I, I don't I don't even know who that person is. Like what what what, what does that mean? And and I love this mindset. Like, we can never be accepting of any ideas outside of our own not even a little bit because if you ever been to their will it's over you're done you've already lost you will never win at that point you never been the knee at all you never apologize you never compromise with this group of people because they have proven over and over again that Oof. if their sole focus is identity politics then there is nothing you can do that will ever please bro are you not bitching about identity politics in like every one of your videos? What the fuck do you know? I'm sorry. What do you think you are arguing about when you're complaining about diversity, when you're complaining about a gender change of a character or a race change of a character? What do you think that is? Do you not realize that that is identity? But like, what the fuck do you think your channel is? Your entire platform is a right wing fucking uh, tunnel that is masked as like video game and pop culture review where all you do is bitch about identity politics. They're trying to get rid of cis white men and all this shit. I don't know why I'm doing quotes around that. Like that's not a thing or something, but, but you get what I'm saying. This is like your stick. This is what your content is. The fuck? Just own the shit. Stop with this. They have an agenda. They are pushing identity politics. So are you. What do you think this is? Is them most relationships, most situations yeah, right. with normal thinking people allows compromise. It allows conversations. It allows back and forth, give and take. That's normal thinking standards. With social justice weirdos, there is no normal thinking standard. There is no compromise. There is no give and take. There is nothing like that. You can never bend the knee in the slightest. Any weakness you show means you have lost. Do you think... Probably not. Do you think... 
that he like actually not necessarily debates but do you think he actually like talks to people like or he just like makes his youtube videos and then runs and fucks off to a corner until it's time for another brie larson video i wonder hmm. do not ever ever give them anything because you will continue to spin and twist and squirm and they will continue to demand and move the goalpost over and over again. That is where we are. But Hasbro can go straight to hell. Hasbro can go straight to hell. Are, are, are you, are, I was going to say, did he even forget what he's talking about? He's been going on a rant about SJWs for so long. I think he forgot what the video was supposed to be about. Now he's back to Mr. Potato Head. Um, are, are you going to even open the link? Are you, you going to click anything on here? Can we read the article with you, buddy? They can try. They can try to sit here no, and pretend no. <laughs> that uh, this announcement, uh, th basically with this damage control, they can pretend like they had a plan. They didn't have a plan. They basically, uh, their plan backfired them, on them. The mm -hmm. social uh, reaction was too much, too much negativity, so they have it dialed it back. Uh, they can all kiss my ass. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. But that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to call it out. We're going to continue to hold these people accountable. I'm not going to respond to your tears. I'm not going to respond to your cries. I'm not going to respond to your angry tweets. If I make too many hate videos, that's a you problem, not a me problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're continuing to complain that I make too many videos, too many negative videos, then... Uh, that means I'm doing something right because I love offending the easily offended. That is the best thing I can do. The more I can. Off I mean, it, it, at least he's not hiding the ball. <laughs> then the easily offended, the better job I'm doing because social justice weirdos are professional victims. They are always looking for something to be victimized by, and they're always looking for someone to claim uh, hurt their that claim that they hurt their feelings and we're going to cancel them or we're going to whine about them on Twitter. And I'm here to tell you that I don't care. I will continue to call the bullshit out because okay. I see what is happening across the board. Yep. And um, plenty of others around uh, the internet and <laughs> YouTube are seeing it as well. And uh, shout out to all of them. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Check out geeksandgamers.com, our website, where you can sign up for free. You can sign up for free. You can jump in the forums and have a discussion. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hasbro created Confusion Thursday when they when it announced that it would drop the Mister from the brand's name in order to be more inclusive, and so all could feel welcome in the Potato Head world. It also said it would sell a new play a playset this fall without the Mister and Mrs. designations that will let kids create their own type of potato families, including two moms or two dads. But in a tweet later that afternoon, Hasbro clarified that while the brand is changing, the actual Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head characters will still live on and be sold in stores. In a picture posted on Twitter, the Mr. and Mrs. names were less prominently displayed at the bottom of the box instead of the top. While it was announced today that Mr. Potato Head brand name... Uh, this tweet came after news of the brand name change exploded on Twitter with people asking if Barbie will change her name next. I think Hasbro needs to drop the bro and just be Has. Another person tweeted. Wow. Hasbro appears to want to have it both ways expand the brand while not killing off his most iconic characters which appear in the toy story films they are looking to broaden the franchise said robert somebody founder of marketing consultancy brand keys you take the focus of what is essentially one character and now allow it to be a platform for many characters uh kimberly boy vice president hand hasbro said the intention of the brand name change was to be more inclusive and have all characters still live within the potato head universe the potato head you oh my god what are we marvel now it created a lot of excitement, she said, about the reaction. Okay. Hasbro is helping kids to simply see toys as toys, which encourages them to be their authentic selves outside of the pressures of traditional gender norms. Uh, many toy makers have been updating their classic brands in recent years, hoping to relate to today's kids and reflect more modern families. It's a potato, said Ali somebody, editor-in-chief at Toy Review site, the Toy Insider, about the new playset, but kids like to see themselves in the toys they are playing with. Barbie, for example, has tried to shed its blonde image and now comes in multiple skin tones and body shapes. The Thomas the Tank Engine toy line added more girl characters, and American Girl is now selling a boy doll. 
Mr. Potato Head first hit the toy scene in 1952 when it didn't even come with a plastic potato. Kids had to simply supply their own vegetable to poke eyes and nose and mustache into. Holy shit, really? Jesus, that's hilarious. I, I made it as a joke. Okay, cool. All right, you just got a fucking potato and you just stuck arms and legs and shit in it. Can we go back to that? Like, you, you had to have your own potato, but still. Like, can we just do that? Like, I'm not seeing, like, what the problem is there. Why, why can't... Like, I, I know Jeremy better not be throwing a fit about this shit with his two gay black dads, right? I know he better not be complaining about this shit. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking stupid. I hate everything. We don't care, GOP, but the dumb fucks on the internet care, and because we gotta ride the waves, we care for the time being as well. No, 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 you don't understand. It's more than just a toy. It is a way of life. They are attacking these people's identity. They are stripping them of their childhood, GOP. Do you not understand this? Why do I have to explain this to you? Come on now. This, this is like DEFCON, like, four. <laughs> we are like red alert. This is not a drill. The, es the social justice weirdos are coming for your history, your culture. This is white genocide. <laughs> oh, Mexican, nice. Yeah, true. Apparently, apparently there was a time and yeah, I told you play alone. Yeah, true. Uh, apparently. There was a time where it was just a, you know. A, just a bunch of arms and legs appendages and the eyes and a mouth and you just had a potato like I, I legitimately made a joke about how we could just put an actual potato in the box with some shit and just have kids play with that. Apparently, that was basically what they did. Like, minus the actual potato, you had to have your own. Let's just do that. Then nobody can be mad. We can have an actual asexual potato. You can make it whatever gender you want, or no gender, if you so choose. Everybody's happy. Like, why? Like, I'm, I'm confused. And also, can we, like, actually think about this for a second? Do you really think that with the the political climate that we exist in currently everything that's happened in the last decade with cancel culture and 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 changing shit in popular media do you think that hasbro didn't expect backlash from this before this happened when was the last time you even thought about a potato head doll this is the point they want the controversy. They want the outrage. This has increased. This is what, what earned media. This has increased attention on their product. I could, I could almost guarantee that their sales went up because I, I heard people saying shit like, oh, you better go out and buy your potato head or Mr. Potato Head dolls now because they'll be worth some money later on. Like. You're you're doing what they want. You're talking about their brand and people are going out and buying it. Like, how is this a loss for them? Like, do these people think when they do these, like, oh, we're boycotting Disney Plus and all this shit, and we're burning our Nikes. Like, do, do you think that the companies did not account for this in, in, in their, 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 their risk management portion of, like, when they were figuring out how to launch a, a certain product or make an announcement for, like, a sponsorship or something like that? Do you think that they don't, look at these factors and, and weigh them against the potential long-term benefits? Like, do you really think you're hurting them when y'all do this shit? You don't. If anything, you're making them more money. But I guess keep being mad, I guess. Go off. Just go off. <laughs> 